here with Stephen Munitones, founder of the World Open Water Swimming Association, or WOWZA, and marathon swimming historian. And we're talking about the Olympic 10K marathon swim in Odaiba Marine Park, which you can see behind us. Uh, today, we're talking about the French woman, Laura Grandjean. Pardon my French. Uh, Stephen, what can you tell us about Laura? She probably has the most interesting background of, of the 25 swimmers. She's from a small um, territory of France, uh, New Caledonia. Um, and what's interesting about her is she does everything. She literally does everything. Um, at the 2011 Pacific Games, which was actually in her home country or home territory of New Caledonia, she entered all 20 events including the open water event and won a medal in all of them. She does butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, IM. In the open water, she's done 5K uh, swims to 25K swims. She, she just loves to swim um, and she's peaking at the right time. So here is this uh, young lady, she's now 29, uh, from, a, from a small um, island in the Pacific. And now she's competing with the best in the world. She qualified third at the 2019 FINA World Championships, which makes her seated third going into the Olympics. Uh, she's never really won anything in the open water, but she's peaking at just the right time. That's so, that's so important. So Stephen, tell us a little bit about the conditions in Tokyo and how that might impact her race strategy. Yeah. Uh, just think about it. She has the DNA of someone who is, who lives in very warm, very humid conditions. Um, and you know, 200 meter freestyle is two minutes fast. Her 400, uh, 400 meter freestyle time is a 412. Her 800 meter freestyle is at 838. Um, her breaststroke, backstroke and butterfly are also world-class times. So she can do everything. And which, what that means is in this 10K race, the winner, the podium uh, finishers will have to do everything. They'll have to be able to swim fast for a sustained amounts of time. They'll need to slow down. They'll need to draft. They'll need to position around the turn buoys. And although Laura has not had the uh, victories on the FINA circuit as her competitors, She's gradually, gradually, gradually uh, come up the ranks and she is ready. Um, she is also has a benefit of training and learning under the French team. The French team is, is extremely well uh, uh, knowledgeable. Uh, their team manager um, and really the, the man uh, behind this is Stéphane Lacotte himself, uh, International Marathon Swimming Hall of Fame um, honor swimmer. Um, he's really taken French um, open water swimming and really developed it, uh, you know, to be among the best in the world. So uh, Laura, again, uh, two years ago, I wouldn't have thought about um, her as one of the top competitors, but she has proven herself a true Olympic medal favorite. Olympic medal favorite. All right. So she's peaking at the right time. Is that your final prediction, Stephen? Podium, podium for Laura? This is a hard one. Um, I'm going to say uh, she's 29. She's peaking at the right time. But just there, the, the number of competitors around, if she gets on the podium, I'll be very happy for her. But I think it's a safer bet to say she's going to be in the top five or six. All right. Well, we'll find out August 4th. Thanks so much, Stephen. You're welcome.